Good afternoon, guys. This is Toyka. As you can see, I'm in the middle of a hot mess. I'm cleaning it off my desk. Let me cut this YouTube off. Um, I, I just wanted to come on YouTube and speak about some things that have developed in the past, maybe week, week and a half. And I normally don't give out um, suggestions, you know, advice. I don't do reaction videos because I'm not here to judge. And reaction videos are just that, to judge. They, they need to call it, let's judge one another. It's not a reaction. A reaction video is when you give your reaction to what a person have done. You don't give them um, your feedback on how they can change something. So this is why this is not a video on a reaction. This is a more of a video to encourage, to uplift, and to motivate. We as people of color, I'm not African American because I was not born in Africa. I'm black. Some people may have a problem with that, but that's their business. It's not mine. Um, what I will say, and the channels that I'm referring to is the Mommy um, Ano Game, Mommy Ano Game, whatever it is, with Chrissy, Jazz, Ming, and Liv. Each of these individuals, each of these young ladies have a lot going on in their lives, rather if it was positive or negative. We got to stop it. We got to stop trying to think that we have to jump on somebody's shirt tails, shirt tails, skirt tails, whatever you want to call it, to get our fame and fortune. Chrissy, I'm going to start off with you. And this is not to judge, honey. I'm not judging you. Please don't think that. You was making it way before there was a jazz, before there was a live, and before there was a me. Your videos was the bomb. And I'm going to tell you just how I started to watch your videos. Yeah, I know I need to be cleaning, but I want to make this video first before I start back in. Um, I started watching your videos when I was going through my cancer treatment in 2017. Um, I didn't like to watch TV or news or anything like that. So I was just surfing um, the channels while I was at the cancer treatment center in Atlanta. And I was going on YouTube. I was watching Netflix a lot. And I got bored with that, so I went on YouTube. So I was watching Be Love. Shout out to Be Love. She did a cameo for me, in which I will um, attach it to my page. But but that's in a different video. We are talking about something else right now. Um, like I said, you know, I started watching Be Love, uh, Strong Mommy Chrissy, um, and some more other YouTubers, and. It took my mind off the situations that I was dealing with to see strong women, not only that, strong black women succeeding with YouTube, succeeding in life to being able to take care of their family. I wouldn't care, Chrissy, if you had 20 children. That's your business. Ain't nobody, and yes, I said ain't, ain't nobody got the right to tell you what kind of mother you are. Because we see it. You love your children. Not once have I seen you, uh, you know, watching your videos. Have I seen you raise your, um, your voice at your children? Not once have I heard you curse your children. Not once. Not once have I heard it. At the same time, you have encouraged me. Each time I watch your videos... At the end of the video, I'm like, you know, my spirit used to be, you know, uplifted because, I, you know, I was able to take my mind off of my problems, off of my situation, off of my cancer, you know, and you were making it regardless if your husband left you or not. You went through um, your time. We all go through trials and tribulations. 
We all go through heartbreak. But it's how you made it through. You made it happen. You pulled all the way through that mud that was trying to hold you down. And you did it. You did it. You succeeded. I knew you was going to do it. You did it. You did it the best way you know how. Um, I know some people was trying to give you, um, you know, suggestions, you know, some advice on how to get back at your ex-husband. But you didn't want to, you didn't want to go for that. And you didn't want to do that. You have a lot of morals, values, scruples, whatever you want to call it. You have a backbone. You have a way where, you know what? If I'm going to look bad, I'm going to make myself look bad. I don't need other people. I don't need to talk about other people to make myself look good. And then in the end, I'm looking bad. You take responsibility of your actions and you move on. Now, Chrissy, I'm, I'm going to put you aside just for a few little seconds, a few little minutes. Uh, Jazzy, Jazz, you have four wonderful children. You have a wonderful support system. You was making it before all this foolishness. You was making it. See, we can't rely on other people to push us into fame. We can't do it. We can't do it. We got to do what we got to do for ourselves, which means what? We have to come up with ways on how we're going to enhance our channel, on how we're going to enhance our professional life. Don't rely on other people. Don't rely on Chrissy, Ming, or Liv. Don't do it. You are capable of doing it. But you got to choose size, baby. And when I said choose size, I'm not talking about any of those three individuals. You got to choose the right side, which means God. You have to say, you know what? I don't think it's a good idea. And you can tell them, you know, why it's not a good idea. You know, you can tell them why that you don't want to do it. And then again, you don't have to give anybody a reason as to why you don't want to do something. When you know that it's going to come out bad and y'all had a sign, all four of y'all had a sign that this was not going to come out good. All four of y'all. In other words, you should have said, thank you, but no thank you. Let's just do our own thing. What's that song by Heavenly? You got to do your own thing. And yeah, I know I can't sing. But you got to do your own thing. All four of y'all. Y'all was doing it before all of this foolishness. Okay. Jazz, I'm off of you. Okay. And oh, by the way, you have a beautiful house. And you have beautiful children. You got a beautiful family. And, and you are beautiful. Okay, I'm finna go to me. Me, honey, you remind me of my daughter. My daughter, April. Hot tempered. I, you know, I tell her, I said, girl, you meaner than a rattlesnake. Stop letting your mouth be a potty mouth. Shut your mouth up and sit down. Yes, I know you grown, but you gotta stop it, I said. You got two girls. And see, guess what? Children learn by what they see, not by what we do and tell them. Excuse me. They learn by what we do, not by what we say. So your children see you cussing and acting a damn fool. Stop all that, girl. You too intelligent. Yes, you was one of the, um, the YouTubers that I used to watch. I said, that girl got it going on. You got it going on. You had it. You had it going on. Excuse me for a minute. I got to get there. Okay. You had it going on. You didn't need nobody. You didn't need Chrissy. You didn't need Liv or Jazz. 
Speak the truth. Because guess what? At the end of the day, the truth will set you free. But my mama always told me, what's done in the dark would always come out to light. So guess what, y'all? If you told a lie, first of all, you got to tell a lie to cover the first lie. Then you got to tell another lie to cover the first and the second lie and so on and so on. And before long, the devil going to need a calculator to keep up with all your lies. You know you've been lying. It's not up to me to tell you that you've been lying. Take responsibility, me, and move on. Regardless of what it is, take responsibility, move on. I didn't say anything about your pregnancy. I didn't say anything about that. I just said take responsibility. And that goes for all four of y'all. Take responsibility of your actions. Now, here comes the last one. Last but not least, Olivia. You are a very beautiful young lady. But here is where I see that you are kind of mixed up. You're biracial. At the end of the day, we are all biracial. We're not all true black. We're not all true black. We all have something that we are mixed with. Regardless if it's seen or not easily seen, we are not true black or true Africans. Okay, you was making it before Ming, Jazz, and Chrissy. This is not on reality TV. This is you vlogging your life as it is the truth. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Tell the truth. Remember, you have three children that you have. And guess what? Just like Jazz and me, guess what? Your children see what you do. You can say all what you want. Don't curse. Don't do this. Don't do that. Guess what? When they of age, they're going to say, well, mommy, you did it. How are you going to tell me not to do something when you did it? So therefore, we got to put all foolishness aside because God don't like when you mess with his children. God don't like it. He don't like it. And I know some of y'all YouTubers not going to like this, this reaction video or whatever you want to call it. And it's not a reaction video. It's called an encouragement video. Get it together, boo. Get it together. Know the difference. I'm just tired of seeing y'all cussing and fussing and saying all kind of little nasty things out your mouth. You don't let nobody take you out of character. Olivia, you a wife now, baby. You a wife. You a wife. Let me say it one more time. You are a wife. You're a wife and a mother. You have a husband that adores you. Yes, he has his problem. But guess what? You got problems too. And here's what I want you to do. And I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that, honey. But I think that you need to get some counseling. You really need to get some counseling. So you can stop feeling like you are inferior to black people because you, you feel like that. You feel like that. I have cousins, nieces, whatever, that are biracial. They act just like you. Get you some counseling, sweetie. Get you some counseling. Um, I'm going to say this to you. Warning comes before destruction. This is a warning to all four of y'all. This is a warning. Warning comes before destruction. And when I said that, it means that you all, all four of y'all know good and doggone well y'all shouldn't have did no mommy Anna game. Y'all shouldn't have did that. Yes, the videos was cute. The intro was cute. But it would have been even cuter if you would have did it on your own. 
you could have did it with your children and your family and your husband if you had a husband. Jazz, you could have did it with your family. Chrissy, you could have did it with your family. Chrissy, I got to tell you, honey. I'm going to tell you this. And it's nothing bad. You have a heart. You want it to help. And I'm not going to say who, but we already know who. You want it to help in spite of it all. And you knew how it was going to turn out. You did. You did. You want it to help. You wanted to help them with their views. You wanted to help them with their subscribers. But at the end of the day, you didn't allow the devil to make you lie. And that's most important. That's the most important. So you keep your, your head up. Don't you allow nobody to make you feel like you inferior or that you feel like you less of. You are a beautiful young lady, just as well as all three of y'all. All four of y'all are beautiful young ladies, and each of y'all writes. But once you open up your mouth and talk that filthy talk, that's when you become ugly. Don't let nobody take you out of character. Just excuse yourself from the tape, from the table. Just because you're not getting giving them a response or just because you're not giving that person or group or YouTube tuber or whoever a response on their negativity, it does not mean that you less of a person. But what I do want to say is today is what? May 31st. Make June 1st a new month. Learn how to forgive you may not be able to forget, but you can forgive. Forgive and forget. I'm not going to say forget because you may not be able to forget it, but at least try to forgive. In other words, just use this as a lesson learned. When you know about a person and they come to you and say, hey, let's collab together and you know how they are based on their videos you either say yes or you say no just look at their uh, videos and that will give you the answer uh, at the end of the day a person will let you know exactly who they are my mama used to always tell me toika all you got to do is just sit back and watch and they will reveal who they are. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to talk about them. You ain't got to do anything. Mostly this video is for strong mommy Chrissy. You have nine beautiful children. I just love that Candace, that Blazy Blaze. I love all nine of your children. And if I was where you are, I would help you. Yes, I work for the state, but I ain't going to tell you what state. I work for the state of Georgia, but I'm not going to tell you what agency. But it deals with families, so y'all already know. I'm just letting you all. I have seen too many broken families. I have seen too many children come into care because of foolishness. And no, I don't have time to be making those CPS reports on nobody on YouTube. I don't do that. That's not me. That's not me. Even though I am a mandated reporter, I ain't mandated to report on anybody on YouTube. Okay, so let's get that together. What I want to say is, I love each and every one of you. All throughout my cancer treatments and, and, and you know, uh, my cancer recovery, I watch YouTube. And that's what I watch now. I want to watch positive videos. I'm tired of watching trash. I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm tired of watching bashing videos, cursing videos, lying videos, stupidity videos. I'm tired of it. Yeah, I don't have to watch it. And as soon as I know what it's about, I click out of it. 
I don't respond to it. I don't leave no comment. I just don't. I don't I don't leave no thumbs up or no thumbs down. If I like your video, I'm going to leave a comment. And most times, I'm going to give you a what? A thumbs up. But if I don't like your video, I'm going to do what? Give you a thumbs down. I'm not even going to give you a thumbs down. Because I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to click out and find something else to watch. Chrissy, get back to them good old videos. The cooking, the cleaning, the hauls. The video you did on last night. Man, that, girl, that was fat. I like that. That was fat. Continue doing videos like that, sweetie. Because guess what? The more they talk about you, the higher God going to push you up. Because see, guess what? At the end of the day, some of these YouTubers want to be just like you. Don't you know that, Chrissy? They want to be just like you. Just like Jazz. Just like me. Just like Olivia. But you got to be true to your word. You got to stand up. Be who you are, not what they want you to be. Don't allow nobody to take you out of character. Now, I've been on here for almost 22 minutes, so I'm finna get off. Scrum Mama Chrissy, keep holding your head up. Keep holding your head up. I seen the video um, that was a response to what they wanted you to do before you, um, you know, deleted it. And, I, honey, you got five. Girl, you got five, gal. You got five. I like it. You got five. All four of y'all got fire. But you got to learn how to use that fire in the right way. Use it in the right way. Use it for good. There's a lot of people on YouTube, whether they black, white, blue, or green, that have very successful channels. And they didn't do no collabs. If they did, they did it with people that had the same kind of heart as um they did. The same kind of attitude as, you know, they had, you know, attitude. But like I said, I wanted to give this video is not a reaction video. It's more of encouragement. It's more of what can I do better at the end of the day video. I'm trying to, you know, I want to encourage all four of y'all. All four Chrissy, Mean, Jazz, Live. All four of y'all. I want to give y'all encouragement, okay? Encouragement. And I wanted to make this video before I forgot. Yeah, I got chemo brain. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And sometimes my, you know, I have, you know, two words that combine together into one. So please forgive me if you hear that. And it's because of that, because I have chemo brain. Okay, because of my tr cancer treatments. Okay. Like I said, I was in the midst of cleaning up my place. Uh-oh, sorry, y'all. I was in the midst of redoing my craft room. So, yeah, it's junky, but give me up. Just give me a few more days, okay? Bye, y'all.